Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of the episode of an anime. In this case, for the episode 21 of Spy Family. This episode brought a new character and some really interesting nuance. One of the time that a translation can get very nuanced is when someone is getting this prime or insult. The terms can be very different because the meaning can easily shift with the culture around it. In the introduction of Fiona, we get a couple of words to describe her, and I wanted to quickly mention the Japanese term used to get a little insight on that side. The first one being Dokufu, translated into weekend. It's written with poison in wife or lady that can give the image of a woman who tries to poison the mind of others. The second one is exactly the same as the cold blood in English, Leiketsu. Then we have Brazen from Tetsumenpi, which is usually translated in the same vein as someone bold or shameless, but I just wanted to also mention that it's written as iron, face and skin, which makes it fit even more with Fiona. Talking about Fiona, this episode we got her nickname, Nightfall. Something interesting is that in Japanese it's Tobari, which usually just means curtain, but it's written as night in a variant kanji of curtain. It comes from the expression Yoru no Tobari, the curtain of night, or veil of darkness to get a closer expression in English. It's to talk about a situation when you don't see anything, literally or figuratively, like if you are in complete darkness. Now for the nuance between the kanji used for the curtain part, compared to the usual one, both of them are read the same way and mean the same thing. In the Japanese written language, there's a lot of kanji that have different form, that are often obsolete or archaic version that were changed over time but they can also have other forms that are used to add a bit of nuance to a written word. For curtain, the vast majority of the time, it's this one that is used in the expression I talked about just before, or when used alone, but the one used in Fiona's nickname has a more military nuance to it, with the kind of image of a place behind the curtain where plans for a battle are refined. It's used in a military world for headquarters, Yaku, and field headquarters, Ibaku. When Fiona first sees her and tries to think of a way to replace her, in the subs she talks about her not having any flaws in her appearance, and even if it's completely true, what she meant might have been a bit different. What she said was, Suki no nai mino konashi, which could be interpreted as you're not having any gap in her demeanor movements suggesting that she was thinking about the possibility of taking her out at that moment, which links more naturally with our other line just before, I'll personally get rid of you, and the one after, but to take care of her myself would pose too many risks. Since Japanese is a language that is often heavily based on context, it's sometimes hard to really know what someone truly means. In one of the secret conversations between Fiona and Lloyd, the subtitle suggests that she told him explicitly that she will take the place of her wife, but in the Japanese version of that sentence, she doesn't directly include herself. So Lloyd could still not know that she wants to be the next wife, even if it's just for the mission. That's all for this episode. If you want more content like this, you know what to do. Like the video to let me and YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you next time.